yours, how's it going, mate? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. Cool, it's um, nice, smoke to smoke, he's waiting for you here. Oh yeah, over. When you arrive on the island, you realize that it's not just about Kakapo, it's about the whole ecosystem around it. So much benefits added to a whole lot of other species. It's really Jurassic Park-esque because, because those are things you wouldn't see anywhere else. You're in a different world. Kia ora whanau. Day one of Kakapo Recovery Program Volunteering. And I've just scurried up a rope ladder to this beautiful vantage point looking over the entrance to Dusky Sound and it's just fantastic. So as a feed-out volunteer you're here to feed the kakapo and every day um, you're going to prepare your mix of nuts and oil uh, that you're going to take over to the hills uh, and you're given a little map, it's a bit of a treasure hunt. So I've been out walking for nearly three hours now, this is my second station and this belongs to Kuia. She's a hungry girl. She's eaten all her pellets, so I'm going to be giving her some extra. Great, data collected. Oh, hi Robin. You've got vets on the island, you've got people that uh, repair the tracks, people that are more specialised in looking after the chicks themselves and feeding them. See how he's kind of vibrating a little bit? Yeah. Um, that just means he's nice and strong and he wants to be fed, which is really cool because they don't do that when they're weak. Last night I had a great experience helping with a health check for a chick. Well, when I say helping, I simply watched. But they weighed the chick, it was gaining good weight, and they did take some bloods to check for aspergillosis, which is this fungal infection that's affecting kakapo at the moment. You were a little tiny white fluff last I saw you. <laughs> And the other thing about Kākāpō is it's an incredible conservation programme and the people who have worked over the last 30, 40 years to bring this bird back from the edge of extinction. They are a wonderful group of people. It is a great privilege to have worked alongside them and to see how much they've achieved from a bird that there were once 50 of them, now there's more than 200. There might be nearly 250 at the end of this breeding season. What an achievement. It's pretty special um, working for a company that uh, gives you an opportunity to do like things outside of work but that are related with our values and what we try to do in, in New Zealand, working for a better place, working for a better environment. It's amazing how quick my time here has come to an end and it's been very hard physical work but I've enjoyed it um, and super cool to meet the people involved in this project. Anyway, I really want to say thank you to Meridian for giving me this opportunity. It's been an amazing experience.